The Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States protects citizens from unreasonable search and seizure by the government. These protections impact public schools in the area of search of students by school officials for contraband, such as illegal drugs and or weapons. And we work very hard to make sure that this campus is both drug and weapon free. Ever since the tragedy that was the Sandy Hook massacre in Newtown, security in schools has been increased. Well, I feel like it's necessary, you know, with the shootings at the other schools has happened and everything. But when they come up to me and they think I'm doing something wrong and they're being suspected of something, I wouldn't really like it, like towards myself. But I can understand why they're trying to put it out there. Here at Desert Pines High School in Las Vegas, students are now subject to search whenever they enter campus after the beginning of the school day. Backpacks, pockets, shoes, purses, and clothing items are all subject to search anytime there is a reasonable suspicion of wrongdoing. I understand like the precautions they're getting into, but a lot of that can be real personal. Like Maybe there's stuff like you have that you don't want anybody to see, but I feel like there's other precautions that can be taken instead of oh, give me your stuff, let me search inside of it. More like, you know, like metal detectors, that can be because we know all why you're we're having a stricter search and seizure. Students are subject to search at any time they enter campus at their non-start time. In other words, if students are late to school, they are automatically subject to search. If you're off campus and you're supposed to be in school, and you're coming back on, when you weren't supposed to have left, uh, we're going to search your bags and, and personal property. If students leave campus and then try to return to campus, not only are they subject to search, but they are also subject to progressive discipline for violation of the school's closed campus policy. So anytime there's a suspicion of wrongdoing, students are automatically subject to search. We have no way of knowing if a student maybe got into a verbal fight earlier in the day and went home to try to get a weapon. Uh, as such, it's important that we make sure that the students that are coming onto campus that aren't coming on when they're supposed to be here haven't been going off campus to do something that is either criminal or potentially dangerous for the rest of our students. When you go around search and seizure, obviously you're going to profile. Like if you see somebody coming in, pants sagging and bandana or whatever they have on, you're going to be thinking, oh, he might have something on him. But you like never know because, you know, the, the Newton shooter didn't have, he didn't look like it. Well, he looked like it, but he didn't fit like a thug. It's like you never know what's going to happen. I don't mind if it bothers you that we have to search your backpack on the way back in. Uh, that's the reality of life. In the real world, when you leave in the middle of the day, you get fired. Here we search your bag to make sure you're not going to hurt anybody. I think that's a fair compromise.